the SAT. The SAT reasoning test is a standardized test for college admissions in the United States. The SAT is owned, published, and developed by the College Board. The test is intended to assess a student's readiness for college. Nearly 1.4 million individuals take the test in a given year. And of that 1.4 million, 97% get less than a 2100. Oftentimes, grade point average and SAT scores don't correlate, which leaves the question, is the SAT a fair determining factor of an individual's intelligence? Is it a fair determining factor for college admissions? And what would be a fair determining factor for college admissions? We've asked Mr. Pregano, an English teacher from Francis Lewis High School, about his opinion on the SAT. Do you think that the SATs are a determining factor of your intelligence? They don't really necessarily take into consideration intelligence. It's really more along the lines of how well you can take a test. So these things that the SATs are testing on are supposed to be embedded throughout your entire academic career. So the way that they're testing you is seeing not so much what you remember, but how you applied those items. Like, for instance, the vocabulary. It's embedded in text, there is, or it's embedded in a certain sentence. So what you actually want to do then is, you know, you're not going to remember every 3,000 words that appear on the SATs or most commonly appear on the SATs. What you're going to know is that, okay, this relates to this other word, and that's the application that you're using. So they're testing your knowledge of memory slightly, but really more application and how it actually relates. Because in the real world, you're not going to be asked, what is the definition of this word? You're going to be asked, well, what does this mean? Next question. What is your definition of intelligence? I guess it's your ability to um, to apply information and to not only to apply and absorb information and kind of use it appropriately throughout. So it's not again how much you remember. It's really more of like what how you use it. We've also asked Tony, a senior from Francis Lewis High School, about his views on the SAT. Do you think the SATs are important? I think they're important because the traditional college application process has made them important, but I think when it comes to life, they're not important at all. In fact, they're a waste of time. Do you think that the SATs correlate to how intelligent you are? Absolutely not. What do you think should be a substitute for the SAT for college admission? The Stanford Binet Intelligence Quotient. Can you explain that? An IQ test done by a certified psychiatrist. The National Center for Fair and Open Testing found that the SAT was by far the weakest predictor of college success. The most useful tool was the class rank. So, we ask you, the viewer, do you think the SAT should stay? Is it even fair? There are many things you can do to take action. For example, there is an online petition at actoutagainstsat.com started by a high school student named Allie Kaufman. She hopes to gain 5,000 signatures in order to catch the attention of Joyce E. Smith, president of the National Association of College Admissions Counseling. This is one of the many ways to voice your opinion against the SAT. Will you join the movement?